Pat, thank you so much for being here today. I know we're going to talk about heart health and some things that we can all do, regardless of it's children or yes. adults, that we need to make these small changes in our lives, but they make a considerable difference, don't they? They really do, because the, the other good part about this is that not only do we not have to make major changes, but you know, when we build a healthier heart, we're actually building a healthier body. Mm -hmm. So the good news is that with some simple lifestyle changes, and since I'm a dietitian, I'm going to talk about the nutrition changes. Uh -huh. um, it's just very small little things on what most people are probably doing already. Mm -hmm. But I think we've heard over and over and over again, not just for heart disease, but for general health, everything, the stop smoking. This is it. That's this it. is the one mm -hmm. thing to eliminate, that if anyone is still smoking, it's really critical to stop. And it goes beyond all of the different cancers uh -huh. that smoking contributes to. Do you know that 20% of the deaths from heart disease mm -hmm. are actually related to smoking. Now, is that so, to smoking, or what about the second hand and, and other types of smoke that we are subjected to? Yeah. Well, they contribute, you know, they build it, but we know that 20% 20 of the people who actually have mm -hmm. heart disease were smokers, the ones who died. Okay. So That's a good reason yes. in and of itself right there, but everyone should. Correct. <laughs> Okay, fiber. I know as a dietitian, you're always talking about yeah. getting more fiber in yes. our diet. And what's especially important for heart health is soluble fiber. There's soluble fiber, insoluble fiber. Uh -huh. And I think a lot of people have heard about the benefits of oatmeal. Oh, yeah. Because mm -hmm. the soluble fiber actually binds cholesterol in the body and does help to lower it. Oh, uh -huh. However, it's important for people to know that there's soluble fiber in lots of different foods. Actually, there is more soluble fiber in beans than there is in oatmeal. We also get it mm -hmm. from green peas, from um, split peas, as well as um, all of the different colors. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the legume family, the lentils, the beans, the peas. Mm -hmm. And a perfect snack for heart health, Air pop popcorn. Air pop. Leave That's off the important. fat, uh -huh. easy on the salt, because there is soluble fiber in uh -huh. corn. Gosh, so, that's nice to know something that we all probably love yes. uh, is really good for us. And we might point out that the uh, the fiber is just as healthy for us in uh, dry beans as it is in the canned products. Absol oh, that's an excellent point. Yes, it is. So for convenience sake, mm -hmm. you know, open up a can of beans. These are really economical. Uh -huh, they so really are. From a price point of view, you can't beat dried beans uh -huh. and cook them yourself. Well, and then we go to fats, and yeah. I love the fact that you have the avocados there, and we'll get to that in a minute, too. Yes. You know, the message from the Heart Association is it's the type of fat that is more important to heart disease than even the amount of fat. So the we want to have those heart-healthy monounsaturated fats uh -huh. that you find in corn oil, olive oil, in nuts and seeds and avocado. So, so monounsaturated yeah. fat. And we want to have leaner meats where we see less marbling, uh -huh. less of those white streaks. Uh -huh. Those white That's streaks fat. indicate saturated mm -hmm. fat. That's the kind that builds up uh -huh. in the bloodstream and contributes to heart attacks and strokes. And I know you firmly believe that we should all read the labels, and it is listed on there. Now, what it, about trans fat? Are we mostly... Have we just about eliminated that? I think we have. Food manufacturers have done a good job, so you can look at the labels and clearly see zero trans mm -hmm. fat or one gram of trans fat. Mm -hmm. And in the same vein, you can see how much saturated fat and how much mm -hmm. mono uh -huh. unsaturated Now, what if fat? it has some polyunsaturated? Is that that's fine. pretty good? That's oh, fine. That's good, too? You know, I think a general idea is to mix up your oils. Oh. The canola and the olive oil are the highest in monos, mm -hmm. okay? The corn oil, the safflower oil are a little bit low, but you know they have benefits too. Mm -hmm. So mix and match, oh, but especially if you already mm -hmm. have heart disease, this is what you wanna focus on is the monos. You wanna snack on walnuts and almonds. You wanna try to have, um, guacamole 
mm. instead of, say, a sour cream dip. Oh, so mm -hmm. that you it's have healthier. your snacks, you watch those football games and have a lot of fun, but do it in a healthful way. Uh -huh. and, and moderation still is true for everything because it, we may think, oh, I can eat nuts. That means a serving size of nuts. That's right. That it's I'm, one ounce. It's about 22 almonds. Okay. That's one ounce. That's one ounce. So uh -huh. there's a good way to um, figure it out. And we can't say enough about the importance of fruits and vegetables, we can we? For overall health, for heart health, but what is really exciting in this category is a study that came out about berries. Oh. And they found that women who eat two to three servings of berries every day, uh -huh. listen to this, had a 32% lower risk of heart disease than women who don't. Uh -huh. So, uh, you know. What a nice diagnosis. It, Just eat fruit, 32 berries. 32%. That's it, amazing. It's just such an incredibly high number. So, you know, I mean, you can have them whole as a snack. Mm -hmm. You can make them into a smoothie. Mm -hmm. Uh, use them cut up over yogurt for breakfast uh -huh. in the morning. There are just so many ways to do it. But here is the thought process behind recommending fruits and vegetables is it's the pigments. It's the phyto or the plant nutrients that actually contribute mm -hmm. the health benefits. In berries, it's compounds called anthocyanins that they're antioxidants. They protect cells from being damaged. Uh -huh. And right. isn't it true that the brighter the color, we want the nice deep colors in the fruits and vegetables yes. that we eat? And But we want all colors too. Uh -huh. Reds, yellows, greens, blues, oranges, mm. um, because they all have different phytonutrients. Uh -huh. And speaking of phytonutrients, now I like this section. Uh, how here. much better does life get <laughs> than to have chocolate. a dietitian tell you <laughs> to have some chocolate for uh -huh. heart health? Now, viewers, here's the secret: is we're really talking about dark chocolate, mm -hmm. yeah. and we're talking about the amount of cacao. Cacao is actually part of the cocoa seeds oh. that has flavanols. Again, That's those we're plant looking. nutrients. Uh -huh. And we want a cacao content higher than 70%. So here today, I have 72%. Uh -huh. I have 86%. Uh -huh. I know that there's some percentages that are up in the 90s. Oh, is that right? So and that's, on, that's going to be on the label. We just it, need to look for that. That's what you need to look for. Uh -huh. Again, read those labels. Uh -huh. So stop smoking, more soluble fiber, choose the right fat, fruits and vegetables, especially berries, berries, and one ounce of dark chocolate. One ounce. Okay. Well, I think this is very doable. Thank you so much My for sharing this My pleasure. It was good to us. be here, Cheryl.